few years after we started the original facility at 4586, we were able to expand to 4592. We got this back in 2013, right around 30, 40 clients. Quickly, two years later, we have outgrown the place. This is where we did our interval training with our treadmills. We were able to house up to 48 people at a given time. With our next space, we'll be able to double that and what we're doing. As you look around, this was the place that I built up. Once again, just for my personal pockets, no loans, uh, no investments, just based off a dream and a goal that I had. We outgrew the place fast and we needed to go somewhere. So as you see it, we built it up. It's almost a bit of sweet. I'm gonna miss my favorite logo, but I can put it up in a new facility. Peak Performance 360 just means a movement. Uh, to this day, with me being five years into the brand, I still get chill bumps just when other people are talking about Peak Performance 360. Uh, when I hear Peak Performance 360 in a third voice and people are talking about what it has done for them. The vision started clear as day where I was in high school and I remember telling all my friends and all my classmates and all my teachers that if I don't make it to the NFL, if I don't be that person that's on the mat and that I want my own personal training facility, I want my own gym. I didn't know anybody who had their own gym. At the time, I never met an entrepreneur, youngpreneur, nopreneur that was running their own business. But for me, I knew I wanted to have an institution, a movement, a brand that was going to impact people. And I knew I wanted a household name. I wanted something that was going to be around like the LA Fitness and the Ballys. And uh, I wanted to become a household brand name like Bell South and AT&T and Apple. And since day one, that's what I have set out to do.